so I was expecting something like this, actually. We all knew they were pushing sagas from the movies, fusion wars, all this time. It was leading up to this, the Ultra Super Godzilla. Saiyan, Super Saiyans, Fusion Warriors, and Sagas from the movies characters all just got a hyper buff with this guy. This guy is very, very powerful. I am glad about one thing. This guy is not an LF, and uh, this is what makes me excited because I know LFs are so hard to pull. This guy might still be 0.5% though, because he's an Ultra. But imagine if he was an Ultra LF. That would make his chances of pulling him very close to zero. <laughs> so yeah. Now, uh, there's a couple of things to talk about this right now. Uh, he is broken, okay? He is one of the best units I've seen. Obviously, uh, there's one thing though, one thing that I should point out, if you invested in Mono Purple, and your main team right now is Mono Purple, right? Uh, you probably won't have an issue by facing this Godzilla on a non-Mono Purple team. Uh, Mono Purple will still be really, really, really dominant, so if you invested in that team, you should be okay for the foreseeable future at least. All right, he's not yellow, he will not be stopping your team, so you got nothing to be afraid of. Now, I'm most excited about Fusion Warriors, Saiyans, all of that stuff that uh, this guy is supposed to fit in right now. So yeah, you guys are, uh, are fine, <laughs> he will not be a threat to you, don't worry about that. Uh, so, uh, let me check out his strike cards right here. So, his strike cards... Uh, is uh, impact damage here, cannot be interrupted when charging form with blast armor. He has blast armor, so a unit like that probably deserved it, honestly. When using strike arts, resource key by 5, and uh, we all know that this Godzilla does have draw speed, so he will be chaining a lot, a lot of combos, guys. He will be dealing so much freaking damage alongside with his unique gauge that is gonna be terrifying actually so let me just uh, go to his special move arts next uh special move arts cannot be interrupted when charging forward blast armor uh when activated increases special move damage inflicted upon special move he destroys all of your opponent's cards wow wow uh, I, I wonder what multiplier this uh this special move is gonna have I, I don't know, I'm really scared to find out tomorrow. Use this high power special move to store your opponent's counter attack dead in its tracks. <laughs> uh, and we have the number here <laughs> getting pummeled. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, I, uh, I I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now because uh, he seems like he will be dominating everything right now. Uh, every unit that is not in a mono purple team right now is just gonna be really tough. Really, really tough to bring in against him. So, uh, his green card increases strike damage inflicted. Now, this is one of the most powerful freaking green cards in the game. Applies the falling effects, uh, applies effect, nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover for 10 timer counts. This is a self-inflicted buff, by the way. Cancels own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. Cancels, cancels enemy attribute upgrades. Activates twice. Holy shit. Resource key by 30. So you pop that. You start a combo. Your opponent cannot do anything right now. <laughs> they are stuck, okay? They are stuck and you're just gonna keep pummeling them for 10 whole time accounts without an issue. Powerful. Powerful green card, man. Uh, create long combos by nullifying the enemy's covered saints. <laughs> they know, man. They know what they're doing with this unit. Oh, Supreme. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, it has uh, the highest multiplier in the game. His uh, ultimate arts here. Deal Supreme Impact. <laughs> Cannot be interrupted when charging forward with blast armor. Increase, increase to ultimate damage. 
you flick the pocket invasion, three timer count is your window. Nullifies enemies' uh, resource on health and reach zero. That's, uh, you know, basically what every other unit's ultimate does right now, nullifies endurance. That is not really new here. Um, that is gonna be dealing damage. So I just wanna get to his uniques. An ultimate shard that will give you the upper hand against stubborn opponents, huh? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> so, main ability randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws an ultimate arts card. Source health, or source key, increases damage inflicted activation conditions 20 time accounts, master laps. His main ability count is short, allowing for quick ultimate arts activation. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, uh, it's similar to the Vegeta Blue. You know, main ability that destroys only your cards and you have the ultimate art in your hand. So this guy is gonna not have any trouble just getting that card if, if your hand is full, anyway. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's gonna be slaying stuff, man. He's gonna be slaying stuff. Right, so this is where the meat and potatoes of his kit really lies to. The following effects occur at the start of battle. Plus 100% to damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled. Minus 50% to damage received. Increases our card draw speed by one level. <sighs> I mean, that is gonna stack up real fast with his unique gates right here. His damage is gonna skyrocket, man. Unique gate charges every time this character uses an arts card. Once the unique gate is full, it resets to zero and applies the following effects, effects to self. Draw special move arts cards next. Resource health by 15% and resource key by 40. Plus 20% damage inflicted. For 15 timer counts, huh? Um, yeah, so they, they won't let you stack that. Uh, I, I was thinking that it would probably stack, but yeah. His, I'm thinking like his maximum damage inflicted would be around 140. Probably. You can get it up to 160, I'm sure, but that would be his peak maximum damage inflicted, honestly. Reduces next damage sustained by 20%. Uh, okay, so applies until enemy combo is finished. So he gets that for one time, huh? And that all of these buffs reset after that. Okay, so... I mean, now that I see that... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. He, will he be doing enough damage? He has to, s to chain all of combos to get his unique gates up. Hmm. That will be interesting to see. I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, we have to look at his stats too, because uh, it doesn't seem like he will have the craziest amount of damage to take here, honestly. Uh, his blue card will be annihilating stuff though. We still have to see. We still have so, to unique ability number two here. Randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws an ultimate arts card if two allies are defeated. So gets two ultimate arts cards <laughs> okay uh oh there it is plus 20 percent damage inflicted against attack powerful opponent or episode status from the movies wow so we go up to 120 right now okay that is not bad like uh, most of the units that you are facing right now you know are sagas from the movies like you face quite a lot of them in every single match i know i'm facing uh a Goku and Vegeta for sure. <laughs> um, in region, against region too, huh? Against Broly's, all of that stuff. All right, all right. Knocks enemy back if a special cover change is performed against uh, their strike cards attack. Combable with special move arts. All right, that makes sense. You just can combo with your blue card. Applies the following effects when this character enters the battlefield and there is a defeated battle member. Wow. Okay, <laughs> inflicts all enemies with no switching. Five timer counts. Nullifies own unfavorable element factors. Oof, that is uh, that is spicy. What? Shortens ally substitution cards by five when enemy activates rice grass while this character is on the battlefield. What the hell? That is one hell of a synergy with Revival Gohan too. And with any, like, endurance unit. Cease, man. Cease. That is powerful stuff right here. Wow. So his damage inflicted just uh, skyrocketed here. <laughs> Always good to know. So, uh, 
If this character is the leader, applies the fallen effects to self and battle starts, plus 30% to damage inflicted. So, um, obviously, if you're playing, if you're using this Godzilla, you're obviously gonna have him on that leader slot, right? So, he gets that 30% damage inflicted, so 100, 130, 130, plus 20. If you're facing Sagas from the movies, plus 30 from your uh, unique gates. Oh my god, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough one, <laughs> taking hits from this guy. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> that's, that's gonna hurt. If this character is not the leader, applies the fallen effects to self per tag fusion water battle support member when the battle starts. Okay, uh, so he gives you like 15% uh, damage inflicted and 15% key recovery if he's not on that leader slot. I don't even know why you want to run him without the leader slot though. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, holy crap, man. I, I just want to see his stats, but looking at this right now... Oof, that is a lot of pure damage inflicted, man. That is a lot of damage. So, is this it? Let me check. Uh, Rarity. Is that, is that of course. All that, uh, yeah, that's all he does, guys. He seems kinda scary. Uh, at first, when I looked at his kit, 100% damage didn't seem a lot. And even 120 that he gets with his uh, unique gates. Uh, at first, looking at those uh, first uniques, you know, it didn't seem a lot, but after seeing that right now, I'm kinda scared, man. I am kinda scared. This guy will be a massive damage dealer. Obviously, we have to see the stats. Mono Purple, as I said, will be still a top tier team. I don't think uh, this Godzilla is gonna affect the meta too, too much, because Mono Purple is just really so powerful right now. But yeah, guys, uh, that is gonna be the breakdown kind of of this Godzilla from me. Hopefully you guys pull him if you are summoning for this guy. If you are not, uh, I can totally understand because uh, they're not gonna do 1800 Z power for this guy as well. Uh, it seems like. Yeah, guys, uh, wish you the best of luck in your summons tomorrow. I'm gonna be having my summons posted on my channel here first thing in the morning for me. Hopefully, you do your best to pull this guy though, if you're summoning. I wish you the best. Anyway, guys, take care. Uh, he looks cool. <laughs> He's uh, gonna be very, very powerful.